outside a TV studio in London, they've lined up to see a show with a Canadian comedian Canada has never heard of. Here, Catherine Ryan's a star. Backstage, she's reading up on the news she'll be joking about on British TV tonight. But I moved over here when I was just starting out, so I was really kind of open micing and learning. I was terrible at comedy when I lived in Canada. It's Catherine Ryan! Now, though, she's made it to the biggest stage of her life a Netflix special released this week in 190 countries. Because I think I'm a very nice girl, but my comedy has been described as kind of nasty. I'm like, uh, they say I'm Joan Rivers, but older, and that hurts. <laughs> Stop making crappy music videos. Perhaps her biggest claim to fame back home was appearing on a Much Music video review show. Fast forward. Welcome to the fake new show, the only show you can trust. And this is how Ryan's made a name for herself in Britain. Panel shows, the kind that's ubiquitous on TV over here. This one about fake news. Trump identifies Canadian women as second biggest threat to US after ISIS. Yeah, he's right to be afraid. We start each day with a Labatt's and an abortion. And then... In the UK, I do have a silly accent, though. I think that helps me. It helps you, yeah? It makes me feel special to be a minority. She uses that distinctive Canadian accent to rail on celebrities, ex-boyfriends, and her hometown. Sarnia is a terrible, horrible place. We are the teen cancer, teen suicide, and teen pregnancy capital of Canada. Thank you. She's bashed Sarnia before, but never so publicly on a show released globally. For sure, there'll be some people who don't get it and who take the whole special at face value. When I talk about Sarnia, I'm more talking about, like, me, who I was, and the tumultuous teenager who didn't want to be there anymore. She was, right? She's anxious to see how her show, Catherine Ryan in Trouble, will be received back home, hoping one day Canadians will be the ones lining up to see her. I hope Canadians really like it. It would be special to me if, if they were proud. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, London.